Albert Einstein's words, God does not play dice, said at the Solvay Conference in 1927, still resonate in the scientific world. So, what did he mean with this sentence? Einstein's perspective on the universe, his curiosity in unraveling the mysteries of nature, and his belief in certainty found their strongest expression in this word. As a scientist committed to the predictability of classical physics, Einstein believed that every event in the universe had a cause. Everything should have been working in perfect order and balance. However, the newly developed quantum mechanics at that time said something completely different. Uncertainty, coincidence and probabilities were at the forefront in the subatomic world. This situation did not leave Einstein at ease. According to him, coincidence was just a riddle that we had not yet solved. Einstein's skepticism about these new theories turned into a challenge to the unpredictable nature of the quantum world. When he says, God does not play dice, he actually means the universe cannot act by chance. There must be an order, a certain legality deep within nature, he said. In his eyes, the universe possessed an undiscovered perfection. If there was any uncertainty, it was only due to the information we had not yet accessed. Therefore, he was unwilling to accept the quantum physics concept of probability as an explanation. Everything in nature must have a reason. This is why Einstein was skeptical of quantum mechanics, because for him the universe did not move randomly, but in an order that was waiting for science to discover. Albert Einstein always kept his distance from quantum mechanics, which is perhaps one of the most thought about topics in physics. According to him, every event in the universe should be based on a cause-effect relationship. In other words, nothing in nature occurred by chance. In Einstein's eyes, the universe was a perfectly perfect mechanism governed by an understandable order and precise laws. He believed that behind every movement and event in nature, there were concrete reasons waiting to be discovered. However, quantum mechanics presented a completely different picture when explaining behavior in the subatomic world. Probabilities, uncertainty and coincidences were at the forefront. For Einstein, this situation challenged all his beliefs about the functioning of nature. At the 1927 Solvay Conference, Einstein's iconic statement, God does not play dice, was perhaps the clearest reflection of this stance. With this statement, he argued that the universe is not based on randomness, but rather that nature operates in a strict order. According to him, it was not possible for things to move randomly, even at the subatomic level. If we cannot fully understand events at this level, it is simply due to our lack of knowledge. So, according to Einstein, uncertainty arose from our lack of understanding. There was no such disorder in nature itself. The idea that there is a world of possibility underlying the universe, as quantum mechanics suggests, created a serious conflict in Einstein's mind. Einstein's search for order in the universe and his opposition to quantum were a striking opposition to many scientists at that time. In particular, Niels Bohr, one of the founders of quantum mechanics, gave a striking response to Einstein's strict views. Bohr criticized Einstein's insistence on how the laws of nature worked and said, stop telling God what to do. With this very bold statement, Bohr emphasized that it was unnecessary to seek absolute order and a definitive cause-effect relationship in the functioning of the quantum world. According to him, the universe was more complex than we thought and uncertainty was an integral part of nature. Bohr and the quantum physicists did not find Einstein's point of view correct, that randomness in nature resulted only from lack of information. According to them, Quantum mechanics explained the true structure of nature much better, showing that events in the universe really operate on the basis of probability. For example, according to quantum mechanics, it cannot be known with certainty where a particle will be located at a certain time. Could only be predicted with probability, considering the current situation. This uncertainty showed that for quantum physicists, like Bohr, nature had a unique, mysterious and random aspect. This mutual exchange of ideas between Einstein and Bohr turned into one of the most memorable discussions about quantum mechanics in the history of physics. 
While Einstein argued that there was a certain underlying order in the universe, Bohr and quantum advocates believed that randomness and uncertainty were the purest form of nature. Each side had valid arguments from their own perspective, and this scientific dispute became a turning point in the quest to understand the basis of nature. For Einstein, coincidence was a temporary mystery that the human mind could not solve. For Bohr and the quantum world, it was the functioning of nature itself. Famous physicist Stephen Hawking made an impressive contribution to this debate by being one of those who questioned Einstein's statement, God does not play dice. Hawking's approach was quite different, even somewhat provocative. While he criticized Einstein's opposition to quantum mechanics and his belief in the order in the universe, he made a bold dive towards the boundaries of the dark universe. Responding to Einstein's statement, Hawking said, Einstein was wrong in this statement. The existence of black holes shows that God not only plays dice, but also plays with his eyes closed and occasionally surprises us by throwing the dice in places out of sight. With this striking sentence implied, Hawking that nature is much more complex than we know, and perhaps even more mysterious than we can ever solve. The point Hawking emphasized was that there is always an uncontrollable randomness in the functioning of the universe. The nature of black holes, with their unknown gravitational forces and information paradoxes, challenged the idea that we could understand everything in the universe. According to him, nature was too mysterious and full of uncertainty to allow us to establish complete control over it. That's why he had a hard time accepting Einstein's belief in the certainty of the universe. According to Hawking, perhaps the universe was playing a game trying to preserve its mystery for us by throwing the dice to places we cannot see. This comment by Hawking was considered one of the most striking criticisms made against Einstein in the scientific world. Einstein is known as a great thinker who argued that the events in nature are completely understandable and that the entire universe operates in a certain order. For him, the concept of coincidence actually stemmed from the inadequacy of the human mind. Einstein believed that if we could only view events in the universe from a broader perspective, we could figure out the cause and workings of everything. According to him, the uncertainties encountered in quantum mechanics were actually parts of an undiscovered order. The universe had an order and functioning that human beings had not yet achieved, so things seemed random. This idea, defended by Einstein, conflicted with the probability and uncertainty-based approach of quantum mechanics. Quantum theory, which suggested that particles at the subatomic level behave randomly, was incompatible with Einstein's belief in certainty and order in the universe. In his opinion, there was no randomness in nature. Only our level of knowledge and perception capacity did not allow us to fully see the order in nature. Einstein never fully embraced the probability theories offered by quantum physics. He firmly believed that the universe was not a set of coincidences, but an orderly and understandable structure waiting to be discovered. The opposing perspectives of Einstein and Hawking on this issue created a huge debate in the scientific world. While Einstein argued that there was a certain order in the universe, Hawking and quantum physicists believed that nature had a structure based on uncertainty and randomness. For Einstein, reality was a complex puzzle waiting to be solved. For Hawking, one of the most fundamental features of nature was uncontrollable uncertainty. This debate shed light on one of the deepest philosophical questions in the history of science, making great contributions to thoughts about the functioning of the universe and the progress of modern physics. Physicist Walter Lewin made an influential critique of quantum mechanics and Einstein's rigid view on the subject. Quantum mechanics deals with probabilities, not absolutely, said Lewin, setting out to explain the dynamics of the quantum world. According to Lewin, quantum mechanics was a field based on probabilities and did not explain events in nature with deterministic precision. Physicist Walter Lewin made an influential critique of quantum mechanics and Einstein's rigid view on the subject. Quantum mechanics deals with probabilities, not absolutely, said Lewin, setting out to explain the dynamics of the quantum world. According to Lewin, 
Quantum mechanics was a field based on probabilities and did not explain events in nature with deterministic precision. Quantum theory revealed that there is a randomness at the basis of nature and that each particle and each event cannot be explained within the framework of a completely specific causality. This approach was quite surprising, perhaps even shocking, for someone like Einstein, who believed in the existence of absolute order and certainty in the universe. Lewin said that quantum mechanics showed that probabilities play a role in every event observed in the physical world, rather than looking for a definitive mechanism. Lewin's comment also contributes to a better understanding of Einstein's resistant stance towards quantum theory. Einstein could not accept the explanation of the universe in terms of chaotic and random events because, for him, science was a tool that showed that every event in the universe had a certain order. Einstein's harsh stance on quantum mechanics sparked many debates in the scientific world. In fact, these discussions became so intense that a book called 100 Writers Against Einstein was published. This book brought together the views of many scientists who opposed Einstein's ideas and turned the criticisms against him into a manifesto. These scientists rejected Einstein's defense of absolute order and argued that probability-based events in the quantum world showed the true face of nature. Einstein created an anecdote that went down in history with his response to this book. He said of the book, If I were wrong, just one would be enough. This quote showed Einstein's confidence in his own thoughts and how determined he was in his scientific approaches. For him, his belief that every event in nature could be explained within the framework of a certain cause-effect relationship was unshakable. Against the uncertainty presented by physicists like Lewin and quantum theory, Einstein never abandoned his defense of order. Einstein's answer also revealed his passion and belief in science. This statement, stating that only one view should provide sufficient evidence, reflected his strict and rational approach to science. For him, science was such a concrete and decisive field that it did not need more than one opinion. Einstein's determination on this issue and his resistance to accepting the possibilities in the quantum world gave birth to one of the legendary debates in the history of science, and this debate still continues to resonate in the world of physics. As a result, Albert Einstein's statement God does not play dice resonated so deeply in the scientific world that scientists have debated this view for decades. Einstein argued that there was an absolute order at the basis of the universe and that everything operated according to a law. In his eyes, the uncertainties in nature were merely surface traces of an order we did not know. However, quantum physics emerged with a claim that turned this view upside down. Leading figures in the quantum world challenged Einstein's quest for certainty, arguing that probabilities and coincidences have a natural place in the functioning of the universe. Scientists such as Niels Bohr, Stephen Hawking and Walter Lewin criticized Einstein's stance and suggested that uncertainty and even chaos were inevitable in the nature of the universe. At this point today, science has largely accepted the uncertainties predicted by quantum physics. This shows that the universe, which was completely order in Einstein's eyes, may actually be much more complex and full of surprises. Maybe Einstein was wrong. Maybe he ended his life before fully unlocking the mysteries of the universe. However, this discussion, as one of the best examples of science's deep search for the universe, reminds us that science is an art of asking questions. If you like to go deeper into such scientific discussions, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you with more scientific discoveries and thought experiments in our new videos.